never shake their hands. You never hear their story or tell yours, but somehow in the act of making something with a great deal of care and love, something's transmitted there. And it's a way of expressing to the rest of our species our deep appreciation. So we need to be true to who we are and remember what's really important to us. That's what's going to keep Apple Apple, is if we keep us, us. Yo, Will, can you hit the lights to the place? Thank you. I love hearing his voice and his inspiring message. And it was only fitting that Steve should open his theater. It is the honor of a lifetime to be the first to welcome you to the Steve Jobs Theater. Steve meant so much to me and so much to all of us. There's not a day that goes by that we don't think about him. Memories have especially come rushing back as we prepared for today and this event. It's taken some time, but we can now reflect on him with joy instead of sadness. Steve's spirit and timeless philosophy on life will always be the DNA of Apple. His greatest gift his greatest expression of his appreciation for humanity would not be a singular product, but rather it would be Apple itself. We dedicate this theater to Steve because we loved him and because he loved days like this, where he could share our latest new products and new ideas with the world. And we do so not only to pay tribute to Steve, but to inspire the next generation of creators and innovators. Steve was a genius. And one of the many ways that he showed that was in the, his uncanny ability to unlock the talent of everybody that he worked with. He thought deeply about our workplace and its surroundings. And he believed that they should inspire talented people to do their best work. So over a decade ago, he began to work on a new campus for Apple. His vision for Apple Park was to create an incredible workplace of the future where engineers and designers could all be together collaborating on the next generations of Apple products to change the world. Steve's vision and passion live on here at Apple Park and everywhere in Apple. Today and always, we honor him. We're here today to talk about some incredible products. But before we get to that, I'd like to take a moment.
to talk about what's happening in Florida and Texas, southeastern United States, and across the Caribbean. Our hearts go out to all of the people whose lives have been disrupted by Hurricanes Irma and Hurricane Harvey. You're in our thoughts. We send you our strength. You are in our prayers. Apple is working closely with relief and recovery efforts through Hand in Hand and the American Red Cross. And in addition to Apple's direct contributions, we're making it really simple for the entire Apple community to donate via iTunes and the App Store. The Hand in Hand benefit for hurricane relief airs tonight on all of the major broadcast networks. And I, I encourage you to watch it. And however you choose to give, I hope that you open your heart to this important effort. Thank you. Now, let me tell you a little bit about our new home. We'll start moving in Apple Park later this year. But of course, such a large move is really more of a process. And the first big step is the opening today of the Steve, jo Steve Jobs Theater. It's the most state-of-the-art, purpose-built theater ever, built for events just like this one. Apple Park has been built to reflect Apple's values for both technology and the environment. It connects, connects extraordinarily advanced buildings with a rolling parkland to form an open and inspiring environment for our teams to create and collaborate. The park itself was converted from a sea of asphalt into a 175 acre green space with over 9,000 trees. Apple Park is designed to be seamless with nature. It's open, transparent, it brings the outside in and connects everyone to the beautiful California landscape. It's powered by 100% renewable energy. Thank you. And in fact, we have one of the world's largest on-site solar installations right here. And just like everything we make, Apple Park is, has been designed with extraordinary attention to detail, incredible precision, and really beautiful materials. We've got a great visitor center, which will be open later this year, where we will welcome everyone. And inside the visitor center, you'll find an incredible augmented reality experience where you can learn more about Apple Park, its design, and its innovation. You'll also find a fantastic new Apple retail store. As you know, Apple retail has always been about more than selling. It's about learning, inspiring, and connecting with people. Now, our stores are also the best place to go discover, explore, and experience our new products. So before we get to some incredible products, we'd like to give you an update on retail. And to do that, I'd like to invite Angela up. Angela? You know they're not gonna give you the phone right away, right? They gotta cover the bases first. Thank you. It's great to be here. And I love the fact that the same team that designs Apple Park, also designs our largest retail stores around the world. It's funny, we actually don't call them stores anymore. We call them town squares because they're gathering places for 500 million people who visit us every year. Places where everyone's welcome and where all of Apple comes together. But what really brings it all to life, as Tim said, are our incredible teams. We've always said that our people are our soul and they're Apple's greatest differentiator because they bring personal connection to communities all over the world. 
they humanize technology. But along with our amazing teams, our commitment to design also sets us apart to make things simple, beautiful. And that's why we think of Apple retail as Apple's largest products. And like all of our products, we've designed new features to take the customer experience even further. In our largest cities where we can, we create a plaza, a space open to everyone. Come in and relax, meet up with friends, or just listen to a local artist on the weekends. Inside, we've designed a forum, a place for customers to come and create, collaborate, or just connect again with one another. For local entrepreneurs and app developers, we have a quieter space in the larger stores called a boardroom where they can learn more from our teams or again, share with each other. And the Genius Grove, a redesigned, more relaxed service, service experience now in the heart of our largest stores. And lastly, the avenues. Kind of like shop windows around a town square. They're carefully curated and they change seasonally to always feature our newest products and services. And this summer, to turn on these new features, we've launched Today at Apple, our in-store experience designed to inspire customers to go even further with their passion. I just noticed uh, a, ten, a ten dollar Apple's DNA live chat. Things it's unbelievable. What's going on here? For, and they trust us to teach them, like photography, music, gaming, and app development. We've created new programs like Photo Walks, where customers can perfect their photography skills with features like portrait mode and memories. And we do all of this in a really fun social way by taking them out to the neighborhood to explore with each other. Or Swift Playground, where the next generation app developers can begin to learn the basics of coding. And one of my personal favorites. Shout out to Colin Tuesdays, King where for our the 10 bucks. That's, that's so cool, man. Stay updated on the newest technologies and apps. In some of our larger stores, sessions are led by local artists, like this music lab called The Art of Beat Making with RZA and the Roly team in Brooklyn. These sessions in all stores are led by our creative team and a new position we call a creative pro. So the creative pro is now the liberal arts as the genius has always been to technology. And I would love to show a quick video to show you how today at Apple is coming to life. Welcome to Today at Apple. Today at Apple, we're going to be learning about coding. Today at Apple, we're going to be talking with a very talented illustrator. Today at Apple, we're learning about photography. You have tons of good ideas in your head, so it's like, oh, I like that. I'm going to explore Whoa. that more. When you do something for the first time, you have to be completely fearless. Shout out to the Shadow Sneak. Shout out Super Creeper 27. Kane Kilgore. Marcelo Kenzo. We just started. William Baker. And Chance. We just started. But the feedback has been fantastic. Customers are telling us they love the role that Apple Retail is playing in their community. What's up, John Fisher? So what's next? Mr. Sunscoop. Well, we're going to continue to open Apple Town Squares in the top cities around the world. Hello there, David we're going to Goyle. Online, and we're also going to continue to reinvest in our 400 classic locations, including Apple Fifth Avenue in New York City, where we're opening up the plaza to allow natural Shout out Julio Chacon. expanded space below. 15 bucks from Dave's archives. Will return when we open What's up, Brayer 240? Shout out. And in Paris, we're restoring an entire historic building on the iconic Champs-Élysées. We're turning a five-story atrium into our largest forum. Early next year, we're transforming a theater beneath Piazza Liberty into a modern town, day town square for Milan. Seriously, shout out to everyone Just who's doing the super chat. That's amazing. Summer. I didn't even, I didn't expect that. 
and we've recently announced an ambitious project to restore Scorcher 646. In the Thank you, sir. Of our nation's capital. We can't think of a better place for today at Apple Programs than a building originally created for the city. Shout out Grace and Arius. And unlock their potential. Shout out concept creator. I'm Good to see you here, man. We personally announced the opening of our newest flagship store in the heart Desmond of the Desmond Timperley. Apple How's it going, man? Michigan Avenue in Chicago on October 20th. Our team has designed a spectacular Whoa, facility. Whoa, 100, 100, 100 yen or something the from Santos. To the promenade as a part <laughs> of the city's man. plan to transform Chen the Chicago Chen Lixin. Riverfront. Back so at you, dude. Kane Kilgore. A of things we've been What's happening, on. man? And as Tim said, this is crazy. Apple's retail purpose has lemon, always been to enrich lives. Lemon. So a huge old, thank you to lemon the on, lemon on ice. Apple retail employees around the world whose Tristan passion, energy, Tilloloy. and commitment How's it going, man? in serving all of us every day and ensuring all of Apple comes together. Crazy Nero. Brilliant. Thanks, thank you. thanks to you as well. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. I am really excited. I'm really excited about all the incredible things going on in retail that I am especially proud. What's up, you did to yell? Unbelievable retail team. Vince, it's the thanks best for, place thanks, to Vince. go experience our new products. And so let's get going on telling you about what we're going to launch What's up, today, Gareth James? Thank you, sir. Apple Watch. What's up, Texas Bulldog? Marcelo Kenzo. Apple Watch was designed to help people stay active, motivated, and connected so that they could live a, a better life. Abhishek Musad, shout and out to I you as well. I can tell you that more people are doing that than ever before. Since the launch of the Series 2, the Apple Watch has experienced phenomenal Cadillac growth. Princess, thank you. In fact, last quarter, Apple What's up, Harsha Aital? compared to the previous year. This is incredible. Now, last year, we told you that the Apple Engine Watch car, had already become Maverick the watch number reviews. two watch in the world. Today, I'm thrilled this, this to live tell chat you that is Apple on Watch fire is now right now. the number one watch in the world. That's not hard to believe. The number one watch in the world, the Apple Watch. All right. But what's most rewarding to us is how much our users love it. Our, we have an industry-leading customer satisfaction rate of 97%. This is blow away. Did he say this is blow away? Is that what he, he said, guys? write to us all the time and tell us how the Apple Watch is helping them lead a healthier life. Abir, Nadia, what's These up? Shout out. Kedar Naik, and Zach Bruh, prepared a Tristan video Douglas, so that you could hear directly from VS what they're telling us. I'd love to play it for you. Sandwich? <laughs> okay, we got to watch this. We got to watch this now. Привет, Apple. Привет, Apple. Dear Tim. Hello, Mr. Cook. I know you may never read this, but I just wanted to put it out there. I live in Massachusetts. I'm a country boy from Small Town, Mississippi. I'm a two-time Olympian. There's so many Latinos. I'm the father of a nine-year-old. I am a 99-year-old world traveler. Every day for the last two and a half years, I have worn this tiny computer on my wrist. This is the first time I've worn a watch since my bar mitzvah. I was a scrawny, sports-hating kid who never really liked being active. I was coming back from a knee surgery. While I was never fed, I was the proud owner of a dad bod. I fell into a deep depression and weighed 250 pounds. Now I get up at 5 a.m. If it's five minutes to midnight, I'll do push-ups in my bedroom. We'll take the dog out for a really quick walk around the block. I walk around the house and my family thinks I'm a little crazy. I dutifully oblige when the Apple Watch reminds me to stand up every hour. I ran my first Spartan race in December and ran a full marathon in February. 
Agora eu consigo enxergar enquanto o meu corpo está escondendo a múltiplos ensaios. Dear Mr. Cook, our daughter was recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I car rolled over three times and my phone landed far out of my reach. Once I collected my thoughts, I remembered my Apple Watch had the SOS feature. After being rushed to the emergency room, I was diagnosed with a condition that was causing my liver, kidneys, and heart to start shutting down. The integration of her glucose monitor with the Apple Watch lets us make sure her blood sugars don't go to dangerously low levels. For six minutes, I hung there in my car, talking to a dispatcher to help arrive. Had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I never would have sought medical attention, which in turn saved my life. Sincerely, Paul. Thank you so much for creating something that does not make me feel old. Thanks for listening. Avi, sincerely, Stuart. Zhu Wei Hua, Jin Zhang. All the best, Tara. Sincerely, Avi. Jill. Casey. Just to be honest with you, Dimitri. Muito obrigado, Jovan. Man, shout out to all the new super chats. There's a. A 20 pound super chat from Jordan Andow. Those stories are so moody. And a, and a big one really from Brian no Wilson as well. Shout out. Man. What it feels like to receive these notes. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us. Now, we have some great news about the future of Apple Watch. And to share it with you, I'd like to invite Jeff up. Jeff? Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Those stories are really great. And it's, it's really inspiring to us that so many people are getting healthier with Apple Watch. With WatchOS 4, they're going to be able to do even more. We're adding smart activity coaching, which is going to help more people close more rings more often. A completely redesigned workout app with high-intensity interval training. New features for swimmers like auto sets and gem kit, an industry first. It's really simple. You just tap your watch on the machine, get going, and all your metrics are in sync. One, one of the things that enables these fitness features is the Apple heart rate sensor. And it's been at the core of Apple Watch since the very beginning. And today, it's the most used heart rate monitor in the world. And we want to use it to help even more people. So we're doing three things. First, we're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. And when you launch the heart rate app, you'll see new measurements like resting heart rate. Apple Watch calculates this daily by correlating background heart rate readings with accelerometer data. And recovery heart rate, which tells you how quickly your heart rate drops after workout. A lower resting heart rate and a quicker recovery rate can be signs of improved fitness. And now you can keep a better picture of your heart rate. You'll have a better picture throughout the day. The second thing we're doing is inspired by many of the letters we receive from customers who notice an unusually high heart rate when they wouldn't expect one. So Apple Watch has been helpful for them, but we realize most people won't notice. So we're adding a feature. And now Apple Watch will notify you when it detects an elevated heart rate you, and you don't appear to be active. <laughs> and the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. A regular heart rhythm has a familiar pattern, but when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. It doesn't mean it's beating too fast or too slow. It just means it's beating out of its normal rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation or AFib. And it affects tens of millions of people and is a leading cause of stroke. But the challenge is many people with AFib don't feel symptoms, so it often goes undiagnosed. We've been looking at this for a couple of years, and we think Apple Watch can help. In our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work, and today, Renouncing the Apple Heart Study. Whoa. A hundred bucks. 
It will wow. use data from Apple Watch. Hundred dollars super chat from David Canal. What's up, dude? Shout out to you. And notify users. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. So later this year, the first phase of the Apple Heart study will be available in the U.S. on the App Store. Those are the updates focused on fitness and health, and they join the other great features of watchOS 4. We have a completely redesigned music experience, uh, an, an intelligent Siri face, fun new characters from Toy Story, and more. Shout out to Abraham, as well so as Chad Frazier. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19th. Now I'd like to introduce the next generation of Apple Watch. What do you guys, are you here for the Apple Watch? I, I doubt it. You're probably here for the next iPhone. But anyway, we gotta talk about the watch. Shout out to Andy Farr. Shout out again to Marcelo Kenzo. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. Now you have the freedom to go anywhere with just your Apple Watch. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built-in cellular makes Series 3 the ultimate expression of Apple Watch. Now you can go for a run with just your watch and still be connected. You can leave your phone when you go to the beach or just run a quick errand. And it's really nice to know you can be reached if needed while staying in the moment. You can receive an important call with just your watch and, and the number is the same number as your iPhone. You don't have to manage a separate number. The apps you rely on like messages just work and Siri's at your beck and call anytime, anywhere. You can use maps and get directions and the location for Find My Friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. And third-party apps like WeChat work over cellular as well. And coming next month, cellular is going to change the way we listen to music. Because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. Okay. Fitness for fitness. I can see that. That's kind of cool, right? You'll have access to all your favorite music. You can listen to Beats One Live or any Apple radio music station. You can even ask Siri to find you the perfect track. Now, the best device for staying, motive, uh, for staying active has all the music you need to stay motivated. What? To enable these features on Apple Watch, we have packed Series 3 with the most advanced technologies ever in a watch. Inside is a new dual core processor delivering up to 70% more, more performance. It's really, really fast. Siri is quicker than ever. And thanks to the new processor, for the first time on Apple Watch, Siri can talk. It's 64 degrees right now in South Lake Tahoe. It's, it's, actually, it's really convenient to, to not have to look at the screen when you ask it a question. For Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, we developed a custom wireless chip we call W2. There's nothing else like it. It delivers up to 85% faster Wi-Fi while being 50% more power, power efficient for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And we've added a barometric altimeter. So now you get flights of stairs climbed and elevation gains after a workout. We're also releasing an app for developers that's going to be great for skiing and snowboarding apps. Of course. Got a snowboarder out there. Of 
course, the biggest challenge of all was adding cellular. You see, our little watch is already packed, and you have to add antennas, radios, power amplifiers, a SIM card. And if you don't do it right, it gets so big, it looks like a house arrest bracelet, and you're not going to want to wear it. So our engineers have been hard at work. It is kind of really it is kind of crazy. For full example, cellular on your wrist. Rather than add an antenna, the display itself is the multi-frequency antenna for both LTE and UMTS. And of course, you have to have a SIM card, but even a nano SIM would be way too big. So instead, we integrated an electronic SIM, and Whoa. it's a fraction of the size. Embedded SIM. So I don't think I've seen that in a long time. Here's where we ended up. Even with all these new features. Faster dual core processor, W2, altimeter, all the stuff you've got to put in for cellular, the case for Series 3 is the same size as Series 2. The thing for me, though, I want a bigger Apple Watch in general. I need a bigger display on it. I got these big wrists, you know, that's my issue. The only difference is we extended the back crystal a mere 0.25 millimeters. That's as thin as two sheets of paper. It's it's really magical to make a standalone call on a device. Well, there's small. our first and I'd like magical to you right being now. used. I'm sure there's plenty more where that came from. I'm going to switch watches so you guys can uh, see what's going on. Uh, this watch is connected over the AT&T cellular network. This is our new Explorer face. And I'm going to tap on the, uh, the phone app. And I'm going to call Deidre, who's a colleague on the watch team. So the question is here, how does this integrate with your carrier? Are you having a separate plan? Is it subsidizing? Is the purchase subsidized? Hi, Jeff. Hi, Deidre. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. How are you doing? I'm a little sad to be missing the keynote, but I'm working very hard out here. Oh, yeah, sure, sure you are. Why don't we pull in some video and show everybody where you are? <laughs> Yeah, that's you, Deidre. Give, give, give. Well, it looks beautiful out there. It is amazing, but I'm just trying not to fall off the board in front of a million people. <laughs> well, so so far so so far so good, Deidre. Hey, uh, I, I should probably cut it off before something goes awry, but uh, be safe out there and thanks for doing this. My pleasure. I may stay here a few more days. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That sounds great, Deidre. So activities, fitness, you don't want to have your phone, you just have the watch, embedded SIM card, kind of interesting. Going to be expensive. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be expensive. I'm, I'm going to go rogue for a minute. I, you know, you guys, you guys get it, but sometimes people take technology for granted. And just, just for perspective, I'm Mike. And in fact, I'm actually double mic in just the right location so you can hear me. Deidre's out in the middle of a windy lake. Shout out to Sasha for the super chat. Deidre if you guys do a super chat down below, below Apple then your name pops up on the top from her there mouth. She's for a shout out. And the signal's being sent over cellular coming in. And that's just darn close to magic. Who would have thought? Series 3 comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish along with silver and space gray. And we're excited to introduce a new band we call the Sport Loop. It's designed for an active lifestyle and it's light, stretchy, and breathable. Okay. For Apple Watch Nike Plus, we have exclusive new colors. And they're releasing a new version of their Nike Plus Run Club app with great new features like in-run audio coaching. And we have some wonderful colors across all of our bands that you just have to see in person. We have a great partnership with Hermes, and the tradition continues this year <laughs> with some new watch face There's styles, the expensive some beautiful one. new bands, like the one on the left that's inspired by the classic Hermes driving glove. And last year, we introduced a white ceramic watch. This year, we're adding 
a ceramic watch in a gorgeous gray finish. All of these watches were built with a great deal of care as well as concern for the environment and they're free of these harmful materials. So that's Apple Watch Series 3, cellular, GPS, swim proof, 70% faster dual core processor, uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. We have two versions of Here we go. Series 3. There's one with cellular at $399 oh, wow. and a okay. version without cellular that has all the other great features at just $329. And we're going to keep Series 1 in the line at a new starting price of $249. You know what? I don't know. What do you guys think? With cellular, you're going to pick this up? You're going to buy that? I'm... Does Series it... 3 cellular will be available in these nine countries with these 14 carriers at launch and six more coming later in the year. And we've worked with each of these carriers and they are each off have a special introductory offer for Series 3. Ah, this is what I was talking about. We, we Subsidized are offering pricing. The, the Series 3 without cellular in these 26 countries at launch. Orders will begin September 15th and availability will be September 22nd. That's the update on Apple Watch. And now, back to Tim. Okay, kind of cool. I mean, having more functionality is a good thing. Everyone just kept saying, I don't know, I don't need the Apple watch. watch. It just does what my phone does. Now Apple it actually does what your phone does. For healthy life, and the Series 3 takes that to a whole new level. Now, Jeff showed you some very cool things you can do with the cellular function in the Series 3. And one of those is to stream 40 million songs right on your wrist. We've made a great ad showing just that. I'm Shout out to Angry Ginger Boss as well as Rain94. Thank you for the shoot. Thank you for the super chats. Also, Marcelo Kenzo, who wants me to say Chicken Po. Chicken Po? Chicken? I don't. What does that mean? What have I just said? What's up, Sam? Shout out to Rob the Fiasco. And shout out to Monish as well. This is a well. big moment for Apple Watch, and we think you are going to love it. Next up, I'd like to turn your attention. Ordinary to gamer, you're Apple right. TV. The, I'm going to be unboxing all this stuff. Apple TV right? has changed the, the watch, the new phone, television, maybe even this new Apple TV. Let's see. Enjoy movies, TV shows. Sports, news, games, apps, and, and so much more. In fact, we've just been awarded our second Emmy for Apple TV. Thank you. This Emmy was in recognition for how Siri makes it so easy to search, discover, and interact with your TV content. We're really, we're really proud of the efforts we've made to improve the TV experience. Now, throughout the history of TV, there's been a few key inflection points that have changed the way we experience television. It, of course, all began with black and white, and it was first transformed with the introduction of color. It took a huge step forward with the advent of HD. Each stage brought with it a more true-to-life experience, a more immersive experience. Now, we're at the next major inflection point. One that has the most stunning visuals ever. 
that are ideal for the large TV screens that are coming into our living rooms. This will bring cinematic quality to virtually everything that you watch. That's why I am so excited to introduce Apple TV 4K. <laughs> Apple TV 4K. 4K. At the heart it's about of Apple time, TV to be 4K honest. are two key technologies that are driving this next evolution of the TV experience. And to tell you all about them, I'd like to invite Eddie to the stage. Eddie? Thank you, Tim. It is really great to be here tonight. Um, Apple TV 4K is incredible. And it starts with two big advancements in picture quality. First is 4K. Let me show you. This is an image in 4K. It's got incredible detail. That's possible because 4K has four times the number of pixels as HD. But resolution isn't everything. There's an even bigger advancement that's more important, and it's called high dynamic range, or HDR. While 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. Let me show you. Here's that same 4K image. Shout out to AW Preston Camera. HDR. Look at the color, HDR, the details. Apple TV can do this because it supports the industry standard HDR10, as well as Dolby Vision, Shout out the to best Fibos, HDR experience. Ute Sav, now, Apple TV 4K Utsav, with HDR and Dylan Mobile, delivers the highest picture quality ever. And who's to show asking you, where Willie Do is, he's right over there. Art, Dolby 4K HDR cinema projector in the theater. So let's dim the lights and let me show you the new Apple TV. Now we've remastered our screensavers, our customers love these to take full advantage of 4K HDR. Those are cool. I use those. You just leave the Apple TV on. It's, it's Here we nice. are in Dubai. Those are nice. And even at night, you can see incredible details in the buildings and the cars on the road. Now here's a city shot that really shows off the crispness and sharpness that's possible in the new Apple TV. I own so many Apple TVs. I got to replace. I got to replace them the all now. Apple TV every single UI one. 4K. The text is sharper. The images are brighter and more vibrant. But let's take a look at a 4K HDR clip. This is from the new Spider-Man movie coming to iTunes later this month. With the 4K Apple TV, to to me is that it took so long, and it's, I've already accumulated so many of these things. Now, at the heart of the Apple TV. We've got the powerful A10X Fusion chip. This is the same chip that's in our iPad Pro. And the new Apple TV isn't just slightly faster, it's remarkably faster. CPU performance is more than twice as fast as the current Apple TV, and graphics are more than four times faster. And of course, it runs the latest version of tvOS, the best operating system for the living room. Now, to experience 4K with HDR, you also need great content. And we've been working with the large Hollywood studios to bring all of their 4K and HDR movie titles to iTunes. So now you'll have the biggest releases in the best picture quality, all on iTunes, all available for the same price as HD. Okay. And if you bought one of those movies in HD from iTunes, we're gonna automatically upgrade them to 4K HDR at no additional charge. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Now, in addition to iTunes, we've been working with leading streaming providers like Netflix to bring their 4K HDR titles to Apple TV. And later this year, Amazon Prime Video with all of their 4K HDR titles and originals as well. Now, last year, we introduced the Apple TV Sandwich, app, I don't know what you're talking an about. An easy way to watch your favorite movies and TV shows in a single place. It's been available in the U.S., and today, I'm happy to announce that we're bringing it to seven additional countries, Canada and Australia, later this month, and the rest by the end of the year. A little bit of Canada love there for us. Now, for each country, it's really important that we have the content that those customers know and love, and that's why we're adding all of these local services to Apple TV. Now, later this year, Apple TV will do even more because we're bringing live sports 
So Whoa. you'll never miss it. If you're a huge sports fan like I am, you're really going to love this. Wait feature. a second. If your favorite team is playing on ESPN, it'll automatically appear right first in the up next list. You'll even get notifications when a game's about to start or if there's a close game so you can start watching instantly. And if you scroll up, you'll see even more games. And in addition, we're bringing live news to the TV app. Now, let's take a look at those games. As you can see, we show you the score and the time remaining to help you decide which game to watch. That's cool. What is it and plugged into, though? You got a cable you subscription attached to it, I'm sure. Like to know the score, you can turn the feature off. Now, we also have a dedicated sports tab where you can see every live and upcoming game. And as the seasons change, so will the sports tab, always showing what's, you what's best for you. As sports in the TV app is a real game changer for sports fans. And of course, the new TV app is available on your iPhone and iPad as well. Now, if you own an iPad or iPhone, there's no better choice than Apple TV. You can now share your photos on the big screen, including live photo effects, 4K video memory. You can play from the over 40 million songs in Apple Music, including the music that your friends are listening to. And because Apple TV is always home, you get anywhere, anytime access to all of your HomeKit accessories. And of course, you've got access to choose from the thousands of games and apps on the App Store. And with the A10X Fusion ship, there's so much more that Apple TV can do. Shout out to Gracie and, to and see Ben. see what's possible, we'd love to show you a new game from that game company. They're known for making artistic and critically acclaimed games. As a matter of fact, their first game called Flower was chosen as the first video game ever to be in the permanent collection in the Smithsonian, which is very, very cool. So with that, I would love to welcome their CEO, Genova Chen. Thanks, Eddie. game company, uh, we treat games as an art form. Today, many of us play games alone, but we believe games is a medium that can bring people together. Gaming on Apple that's TV, exactly not something I've ever to do truly participated in. Together with not not in a big way, let's put it that way. I mean, I've and tested like, it. Why don't we take off? Sky is a romantic social adventure game where you fly above the clouds to explore the wonders of a mysterious world. The game is designed to be adaptable to the most casual players. The control is simple and intuitive. Everything can be done with one finger on the Siri remote. Oh, hey, that's uh, Mike's friend, Jeff, and he's asking us to follow him. Let's see what he has discovered. Compassion and generosity are key to unveil hidden areas of the world as well as growing your character. So by lighting all the candles, Jeff and Mike was able to summon the spirit. And he's about to teach Mike the knowledge of how to summon a magical creature. In Sky, we really take- Yeah, see, here's the thing. Like, I mean, maybe for a certain audience, maybe for a certain age group, th this type of game on the Apple TV, could be compelling, but it's so hard to take a device targeted at specifically passive content, in other words, Netflix and and movies and so on, and then and then also have it game versus the other way around where you have a game centric device that can then do those things like a PlayStation or an Xbox because the control holds you back. I mean, the little you can't put that little remote up against a proper controller. Not in my world. Not yours, probably. This guy can talk about romance all he wants. Let's. Oh, here he goes bring again. That light to what it is needed the most. With the light, Mike was able to free all the butterflies and together they can move on to the next part of the adventure. With a live orchestral soundtrack and cinematic experiences, you can expect to be immersed in an ever expanding world. So join hands with your loved ones and play Sky exclusively 
on Apple TV, iPad, and iPhone this winter. Thank you. Thanks, Geneva. We can't wait for you to get your hands on Sky. We're so excited about the new Apple TV 4K. It's got powerful hardware that delivers stunning 4K HDR video. Live sports, along with live news, TV shows, and, and, uh, and movies, all in the TV app. And the perfect big screen companion for your iPhone or iPad. New Apple TV 4K starts at $179. It joins the existing one. You can order it starting on September 15th, and it ships just a week later. That is the new Apple TV 4K. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it back to Tim. It's the phone now, all right? I'm sorry. Don't panic. At least I, I think so. It has to be at this point. the beauty and the magic of the cinema right in your living room for the Apple TV 4K. Now, next up, iPhone. <laughs> Apple has always believed that technology infused with humanity could improve people's lives and change the world. No other device in our lifetimes have had the impact on the world that the iPhone has. Nothing else has become so essential or put so much power into so many people's hands than iPhone. It's truly amazing how much iPhone impacts the world each and every day. Our intention with iPhone has always been able to, been to create something so powerful, so immersive, and so magical that the hardware Magical count too. virtually disappeared. Maybe there were more. Over the last 10 years, we've reimagined or invented numerous technologies to create just that experience. The first iPhone forever changed how we interact with technology by introducing multi-touch. Now that's true, I agree with that, most definitely. For the first time, you were actually touching the software instead of buttons. It's magical. Oh, magical. The app stores it's, change the way we three. work, play, learn, communicate, spawning new companies and new industries along the way. We took the viewing experience to places literally never seen before with technologies like the retina display. We changed the way people communicate with features like iMessage and FaceTime that allowed us all to connect in more meaningful ways. And with Siri, we used artificial intelligence to make our voices more powerful. iPhone even revolutionized security and privacy with Touch ID and our wallets with Apple Pay. And of course, iPhone put amazing, easy to use cameras into our hands, becoming the most popular way to capture the images of our lives. Over the past decade, we've pushed forward with innovation after innovation after innovation, bringing us to this moment, when now we can create devices that are far more intelligent, far more capable, far more personal than ever before. We have huge iPhone news for you today, oh. and it gets started right now. Oh, drama. Okay, so we have an 8. iPhone 8. This is a Confirmed. huge step forward for iPhone. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil to the stage. Phil? Thank you, Tim. 
Well, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to tell you all about the new iPhone 8 and the new iPhone 8 Plus. These are a new generation of iPhone, and they improve on everything we love about iPhone. The design is all new. It has glass in both the front and the back. The aluminum band beautifully matches the finish of each iPhone 8. It comes in silver, space gray, and a beautiful new gold finish. It's made from an aerospace grade 7000 series custom aluminum alloy. The glass has a seven layer color process, making sure there's a beautiful, precise hue. And the glass is further reinforced by an internal laser welded steel and copper structure. Hmm. We're so excited because this glass is the most durable ever in a smartphone. <laughs> iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is also microscopically sealed for water and dust resistance. And they have a new Retina HD display in each model. There's a 4.7 inch Retina display in iPhone 8 and a 5.5 inch in iPhone 8 Plus. Now Apple Retina displays are renowned for their incredible color accuracy. And they have great wide cinema quality color gamut. We've built in our 3D touch technology into the display. And for the first time in an iPhone display, it is our True Tone technology. Now with True Tone, it adapts the color, temperature, and intensity to the ambient light around us. Along with the displays, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers as well. They're 25% louder than the speakers Ooh, I on like iPhone that. 7. I like and that. And a deeper bass, too. And this is pretty incredible. Inside iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is a brand new chip. And this is a breakthrough in performance in a mobile device. We call it A11 Bionic. Whoa. <laughs> Bionic. This is the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone. It's a 64 bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, six core. I'm going to geek out here for a bit because it is so awesome. It has two high performance cores. They're 25% faster than six the high performance core cores CPU. Okay. The previous industry leading A10 chip. There's four high efficiency cores. They're up to 70% faster than the ones in the A10 chip. They're managed by our second generation performance controller that now can use all six cores at once to deliver up to 70% improvement in multi-threaded workloads. And they have our first ever Apple design graphics processing unit, or GPU. This is a three core design. It's 30% faster than the graphics in the previous A10. And the GPU is designed to accelerate 3D apps and games, especially those that use our new Metal 2 framework. And the GPU also is incredible for machine learning apps. And those kind of tasks get a big speed up if they use our, our core machine learning framework too. There's more to it. The A11 Bionic includes a, first, a new generation image signal processor, or ISP. So you know this is used in photography. It delivers faster autofocus in low light. It has new pixel processing for sharpness and texture. And for the first time, to help reduce noise, it has hardware-enabled multi-band noise reduction. All this helps to improve performance and helps us take better pictures. Perhaps the most beloved feature of every new generation of iPhone is the cameras. And people love taking photos. And customers send us their photos for our iPhone 8 Plus. has two new sensors in its dual camera. The wide-angle camera has an f1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization. The telephoto camera has f2.8 aperture. So as always, we want to show you the kind of photos you can take off of our new cameras. Now these are photos we're gonna show that have not been retouched in any way. They're straight off the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So here's the first one. This is absolutely beautiful. Now that's not the Golden Gate Bridge. This is taken in Portugal. It shows the beauty of wide color gamut. It has great dynamic range, sharpness, and incredibly low noise. Just look at that blue sky. Here's another example. It shows incredible wide quality color again. And just look at the skin tones and the detail in the hair and the eyes. If you look closely in her eyes, you can actually see the photographer reflected there holding an iPhone to take the picture. Here's a great example of amazing textures and depth in photography. You can really feel the fabric. And you can see details 
in their face behind the fabric. Here's a great example of low light photography. Texture, detail, and, and very subtle colors in this darker environment. Last year, we introduced portrait mode. iPhone 8 takes fantastic portrait modes. And people flip over taking these photos. And now, with the iPhone 8 Plus, you're going to get sharper details, more uses in low light, and even a more natural bokeh in the background of the photo. So this is a big hit. We had a, a surprise new feature last year, portrait mode. We brought it out in beta. And it just got better and better over time. And, and customers send us photos. They love this. So we challenged the engineering team to do that again to make it easy for all of us to take advantage of an advanced photographic technique. And they're doing it. And it has to do with lighting. Now, if you've ever had a prof professional portrait taken, you know that pro photographers use advanced equipment and have a great understanding of advanced techniques to literally sculpt the light on your face to create the perfect mood for a portrait photograph. Well, our team is making this possible for all of us. Using the new dual cameras and the A11 Bionic chip, in the iPhone 8 Plus, the team has come up with a new feature called Portrait Lighting. Now, this is beta, but it will ship with the iPhone 8 Plus. And here's how it works. You compose a photo in the camera app using the portrait mode. The dual cameras in the ISP sense the scene. They create a depth map. They separate the subject from the background. And then using machine learning, it creates Whoa. facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. That happens while you're composing the shot. It's kind of cool. It's super easy to use. Right when you're in the camera app, you use portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select the lighting effect you Whoa. want to use. You just swipe to pick a different effect for whatever you want to shoot. And these aren't filters. This is real-time analysis of the light on your subject's face. In fact, you can go in later after you shot a portrait mode photo into the Photos app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use in your photograph. That's a cool implementation, for sure. And the team has done an unbelievable job on this. And so here's an example of a photo that's taken, not touched in any way. This is portrait mode using portrait lighting. And it's actually using the setting in portrait lighting for stage light, so it drops away the background to make this stunning, dramatic photograph. It's absolutely beautiful. So iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are incredible for taking pictures. They're also amazing for video as well. In fact, iPhone 8 has the highest quality video capture ever in a smartphone. <laughs> Along with the ISP, we have an Apple designed video encoder. This enables faster frame rates and higher quality video. It does real time image and motion analysis to predict changes in the content and optimize the video encoding algorithms. So while you're shooting video, let's say 4K, 60 frames a second. Shout out to Mikey Moet. divides each frame into individual Thanks for the super tiles. chat. Two million of them. And we analyze the two million tiles every second, looking for details like texture and edges to predict whether that tile has grass, sky, water, or movement in it. So let's say you're shooting 4K, 60 frame of video, can look like this. It's beautifully optimized for quality and for compression level. And this video was shot on an iPhone in 4K. It's amazing. And if you're one of the many people who love shooting slow-mo videos, that's gone a lot better too. Now you can shoot a 1080p HD 240 frames a second. That's double the frame rate of previous. Absolutely beautiful. So now iPhone 8 is incredible for shooting Photos, it's incredible for video. There's a third category of use of the camera that's going to become increasingly important in our mobile devices, and that's augmented reality. Hmm. This is an incredible area for us to advance in, and our teams have worked together, hardware and software, to make iPhone uh, the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality, and the first smartphone designed for it as well. We custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. The cameras are actually individually calibrated in the factory, and that makes a huge difference in the performance for AR. There are new gyroscopes, new accelerometers, and AR kit software is tightly tuned to all this hardware to deliver the best experience for motion tracking. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. 
The new Apple GPU renders immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. So I want to show you some of the work that developers are starting to do with AR apps on iPhone 8. So here's one example. It's a game, Warhammer 40K Freeblade from Pixel Toys. You can now use their photo mode to bring the Freeblade Knight into the real world and play it right where your friends are standing around you. Here's another from Major League Baseball's advanced media team. They're enhancing the AtBat app with ARKit so that when you're at the game, you can hold up your iPhone and see real-time player information and stats oh, on top of the that's game you're watching. Cool. I kind of I don't know. AR's tough, but that, that's a cool implementation. You can use AR kit with this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. This isn't some generic sky. This is the sky around you. So now we want to show you a exciting AR app right here live on stage playing on an iPhone 8. It's from Directive Games. This is a new startup based in Shanghai, founded by developers who have worked on some of the biggest franchises in gaming. So please welcome Atli Marr, CEO and co-founder of Director of Games. Atli? And that AR stuff Thank looks you. kind of impressive. Earlier this summer, with the introduction of ARKit, Apple changed gaming forever. What we're about to show you is one of the world's first competitive multiplayer games designed to be played entirely in augmented reality. Shout out to this Hatem. The Thanks for the super chat. In the game, players battle their friends in real time, either online or around the table in the same room. My friend and co-founder Andrea is preparing a match for us where we play the rebel against the dominators. Whoa. What's really cool is with ARKit and Metal 2 on the new iPhone, we are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Since players are able to view the game from any angle, our content has to be incredibly detailed. With the power of the new iPhone and Unreal support for Metal 2, we are able to render the entire level on screen, an amazing 1.2 million polygons, while also allowing you to move in close to really appreciate the high visual fidelity. And just look at those 4K textures. It's gorgeous. Now, shall we go into the game? AR allows us to use our position in the real world to gain a tactical advantage. Just look how Andra is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets. This is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Sue. It's like you're not just controlling the game, you're in the game. Very cool. Another awesome addition to the experience is spatial audio. If you go close to the action, the sound increases. And if a solid object gets between you and the action, the sound is occluded perfectly. <laughs> and with the stereo speakers on the <laughs> wall, this is truly amazing. That's kind of cool. Looks like we're getting hit pretty hard. Dare I say magical? Yes. Deploy a shield to protect our heroes. Now let's rain fire on our enemies, move closer to their base, and get ready for the fatal blow with our super weapon. Oh, the drop tube is there. Can you take it out at the same time? you just saw is an amazing evolution in how games were played and experienced thanks to the combination of ARKit and Metal 2 on the brand new iPhone. We can't wait for you to play it. Look for the machines on the App Store this month exclusively on iOS. Thank you. Guys, I don't think this iPhone 8 is, is everything. There will be some X or addition. Don't, don't think this is the only next iPhone. You, I'd be very now, surprised. Let's talk about wireless. They're just saving it for the end. He once said that the future is wireless. Boy, were we right. And that's becoming more true than ever before with iPhone 8. 
It supports LTE Advanced for fast networking connections. Bluetooth 5.0 for the latest accessories. Of course, it supports our great beloved AirPods and the Beats X headphones that use our W1 chip and the new Beats Studio 3s as well. And now with iPhone 8 with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. Oh! Big fan of wireless charging, use it all the time, all my I mean, devices. This is a simple thing. We do this every day. We use our phones in the day and we charge them at night. Off and on a Finally. by our bed stand in our homes or in our hotels. And words can't describe just how much nicer it is to just put it down and pick it up whenever you want to charge. Been saying that for years. Having to plug I've been in saying it. Again. You're going to want to do this by your bedside. You're going to want to do this in a cafe or restaurant as they start to support wireless charging. You want to do it in an airport so you can top up your charge before you get on the next flight. And perhaps the best use case of all, in your car. You can get into your car, wirelessly connect, and start using CarPlay. Put your iPhone on the center console, and it's charging all without ever having to plug in a cable again. Yes! What makes this possible? Yes! The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus wireless charging with Qi. And Qi is the leading openness wireless charging standard. And we hope to help Qi by increasing adoption of it and creating new use cases for it. Thank goodness it's not proprietary. And restaurants, Thank goodness. shops, airports, cars have started to build in support for Qi wireless charging and they'll work with iPhone 8. Beautiful. And companies nice. are offering Qi chargers Good. and those that are Qi certified could all work with iPhone 8. And we've worked with some developers who are creating Qi chargers and we're going to offer them in our stores and online for our iPhone 8 customers, like this one from Mophie and this one from Belkin. So that's iPhone 8. It's a new generation of iPhone. It improves on everything we love about iPhone. I told you that's it not it. That's not everything. Technologies from the glass and aluminum design to the Retina HD displays, the new A11 Bionic chip. It's, they're designed for AR apps like no phone has been before. They have new single and dual cameras. They have support for the brand new photo lighting effects in portrait mode and wireless charging. Now iPhone 7 came in these three configurations starting at 32 gigabytes. We're really happy to tell you iPhone 8 is going to start with twice the capacity at 64 gigabytes and the second one at 256 gigabytes. And the price? will be $699. iPhone 8 Plus will have the same two configurations, 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes, and it will be priced starting at $799. Will we be able to pre-order them? Yeah, there's definitely going to be September another iPhone 15, as well. And they'll be available Trust a week me. later on September 22nd. And we can all upgrade to iOS 11 starting on September 19th. So that is iPhone 8. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. iPhone 8, a new generation of iPhone and a huge step forward. But we're not stopping there. What did I say? We do have one more thing. Oh! He pulls out the Steve Jobs one more thing. Well, pulls it out. We have great respect for these words, and we don't use them lightly. Our teams have been hard at work for years on something that is important to all of us. The future of the smartphone. The first iPhone revolutionized a decade of technology and changed the world in the process. Now, 10 years later, it is only fitting that we are here in this place on this day to reveal a product that will set the path for technology for the next decade. Big words.
Like, like we said. Like, like we said. And it's called the X. As expected. This is iPhone 10. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil back up. Phil? Cook is fired up, Thank hey? You, Holy! He never raises his voice. You can imagine there are a lot of people at Apple that didn't get much sleep last night preparing for this. This, this, this is so exciting. I mean, it is all screen. It is beautiful to look at. It is incredible to hold. The display fits edge to edge, top to bottom. It goes into each corner where it follows the tight curve of the design. It has glass on both the front and the back, using the same super strong formula as iPhone 8. The Dan is made from a surgical grade stainless steel. It's both durable and polishes to a beautiful finish. And look how the glass and the stainless steel fit, form a continuous surface from front to back. There has never been anything like it. It's engineered to be water and dust resistant at a microscopic level. It comes in two beautiful finishes, space gray and silver. Each has an incredible depth and a pearl essence to the color in the glass. iPhone 10 has an all new display. It's called the Super Retina display. Super Retina. AMOLED for the sure. Level of quality and responsiveness. One, and I wonder if he's going to use those words. Really though. quite a breakthrough in mobile displays. Start with the Super Retina display is 5.8 inches on the diagonal. That's what we got. Same got size as the Galaxy S8. 36 by 1125 resolution. That's over 2.7 million pixels. There's 458 pixels per inch. Now this is the highest resolution in pixel density ever in an iPhone. And it's remarkable how this larger display can be packed into a phone that fits so comfortably in our hands. The Super Retina display uses OLED technology. This there is the is. first OLED display Finally. great enough to be in an iPhone. Traditional OLED displays have had great benefits, like high contrast and resolution, and no backlight means you can make them thinner. But they came with trade-offs in brightness and rich colors and color accuracy, at least compared to our Retina displays. But the Super Retina display overcomes all of these deficiencies and lives up to all that we expect from an iPhone display. In addition, the new Super Retina display it's actually Samsung that makes HDR the display, in both though. Dolby <laughs> Vision and HDR10 formats. Part. It has an incredible a million to one contrast ratio. It has the best color accuracy. It integrates our unique 3D touch technology right into the display. And like iPhone 8, it includes True Tone. Now, all this innovative Super Retina display technology is great, but it's the point of it that matters. And the point of it is to enable an entirely new experience that's more fluid, more intuitive. So let's start with the simplest thing. How do you wake up your iPhone 10? Well, certainly you can raise to wake just like before, but now you can also just tap on the screen and it wakes up. Now with the display going edge to edge and top to bot bot bottom, there's no more home button. And this is an important part and a big step forward in the iPhone user experience. Hmm. Something we use hundreds of times a day for so many tasks is an opportunity to rethink how iPhone should work and how we can make it better. So now, when you want to go to the home screen, you simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. It's that simple. It's that easy. It's incredibly smooth. And once you do it for the first time, you'll know there's never been a better way. Hmm. And it works the same way across the system. If you're running an app little... like Mail and you want to go home, what do you do? You simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. It's All that right. easy okay. and that intuitive. So much nicer. Now the same fluid gesture also works for multitasking. So if you're in an app and you want to multitask, you just swipe up from the bottom, you pause for a split second, and you're in multitasking. And then you can tap on any app and jump right to it. We also use the home button for Siri. So how are we going to do that now? Well, of course, you can just...